when that seemed so high tech. <laughs> oh, no, the, see, we all the, wanted that program, the closet. Yeah, yeah the computer. Oh, mm -hmm. At the time, it was state of the art. Innovative. Definitely. Well, welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the Buzz, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. It is back to school week, and a high school in Utah is welcoming its students with a different take on dress code. That's right, the school is, <laughs> listen to this, you might have heard about it, letting the students show up in pajamas, midriff tops, ripped jeans, and even purple hair, according to the principal. The most important thing is that the students show up to class. Well, that's true. <laughs> it is true. I had plenty of people going to my high school in pajama pants. <laughs> I didn't, but like, whatever. If you're there, you're there to learn. You're, co you're covered. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, I mean, I think a little bit of effort should be made, but again, like, they they showed up, you do the work, that's really why you're there. Your pajama pants aren't bothering me, no. so go ahead. I but there were a lot of dress code things in place. Like, I, I remember having a big problem with, oh, I'm sorry, the width of your tank top isn't <laughs> wide enough. And I'm thinking, this is not reveal. are you seeing too much shoulder? I'm sorry. Is now is now too much? Is this too much shoulder for you? Hang um, on, rotator cuff. <laughs> because then I'd look at some other girls walking down the hallway, going, um, right. their body parts out a lot more than you know the top of my arm. That's why I think in some cases it's nice to have a uniform because you know what you're going to be wearing. Makes yeah. it easy. We were talking about Steve Jobs who wore the same black shirt every day of his life. He didn't mm -hmm. have to put two minutes into thinking about what he was going to put on. Right. You knew what you were wearing every day, so it's less stressful. And then there's like that, not that. There's not that competition. You're all showing up. You're all wearing the same thing. Right. But then on the flip side, okay, then you have a lack of creativity, well, if you will. If you, it, what if someone like if, you don't you don't you don't feel comfortable in the pants or the skirt or whatever it is? Right. You asked me too if there were any days when I was in school when you could like kind of dress down because I did have a uniform my entire school and career. Yeah. And yeah, there would be like a day you pay five bucks, it goes to charity, you could wear jeans, and I'd be so excited to wear my new Jordans to uh -huh. school. <laughs> Much like the excitement I feel when I wear my Jordans to the right. right time. You're always <laughs> posting about them. Yeah, and it's, you know, cause you can kind of show that creativity a little bit. But we want to check in with Ashley right now, who's out in Garden City, to get her thoughts on this. You know your fashion. I have a lot of thoughts. Thank you very much. So, one, I thought I was going to grow up to be Cher Horowitz. I'm still waiting on the closet, but that's still on, you know, a manifest board somewhere in my life. Brendan, like you, I had a uniform, so I had a very similar experience. Um, that's probably why I'm such a monster today, because I never was able to kind of wear what I wanted. But at the same time, it saved us all so many headaches I couldn't even possibly begin to guess because we never had to think about what we were wearing but to speak to the dress code I'm a fan of a dress code maybe I'm old I don't know but I think it's nice if you get up and you look presentable and you go out and put your best foot forward in the world and you look nice and I just think that for me anyway that makes me feel better um, than kind of just rolling out of bed and going with it so I like a dress code or, you know, some sort of a reason to dress up. Even when I worked overnights at Channel 12 when I was a young little, you know, jur budding journalist, I still got dressed even though I saw nobody. And I, for me, I like that. It helps me in my daily life. But the, that's, that's my soapbox, guys. I don't know what you think. <laughs> well, she makes a good point. Sometimes yeah. if you're, you look the part, you put some time in, you feel better about mm -hmm. yourself and you're going to do better work. It also helps you wake up in the morning too, right? Definitely. You're like, okay, hang on. <laughs> Turn the page. It's a new day. I, look good. Look presentable. I like how Ashley wanted to be Cher Horowitz. I, this is something for the old school WWE fans. I wanted to be Barry Horowitz. That's again, it's a reference for the old <laughs> wrestling fans. The, the three people out there that got it, they're just goofawing right now in their living rooms. Let's check oh. in. Oh with our viewers right now to see what they had to say about this topic right here this morning. Linda shares, I went to Catholic school for nine years. We wore uniforms in public high school. It was mostly skirts, no jeans mm. allowed. Ooh, in the 60s. Oh, yeah, that's interesting yeah. to think about. Uh, Jackie says, I always had a preppy style, but my go-to was always jeans or shorts and a t-shirt. I like that she's, like, created her own little uniform, right? I, I'm right there. Yeah, I like that. Nice casual look. Catherine is next saying, I saw photos of super short shorts. And when sometimes when you look back and see those photos, mm -hmm. you're like, what were they thinking? And maybe some of them wore that to school. Didn't they say to the end of your skirt had to come down to your <laughs> arms? And my, my, I don't know. Mine would have been really long. I have long arms. And Linda tells us she never went to a school that had a dress code. There you go. <gasps> oh my. Had to wear whatever she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe nothing at all. <laughs> you don't have to wear anything. There's no dress. Yeah, what are we talking about? It's Friday, right? Is... <laughs> Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Uh, keep those comments coming, please, and they might be used right here on the show. You can follow us on all social media Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We go live every morning on Facebook around quarter of eight. So chime in on our buzz topic, <laughs> and we may re read your comment and totally misconstrue it right here on the road show. Yeah. <laughs> it's still the